diplomatic relationship. And Alhamdulillah, majority of the Muslim majority countries in the world, they have already severed diplomatic relationship with Israel. Unfortunately, there are some Muslim countries which are majority Muslim countries yet continue or have started having diplomatic relationship. How can we join hands the killer of the innocent Palestinians and killing innocent human being is the second major sin in Islam. After shirk, the second major sin is killing innocent human beings. And especially if it's a Muslim. And a beloved Prophet Muhammad said, the various hadith, that the life of a believer is more sacred than the Kaaba. And imagine hundreds of Palestinian Muslims are being killed. And what are we doing? How can we join hands with the enemies? They are not just Muslims. They are Palestinian Muslims who are doing for the kafaya on behalf of the Muslim Ummah. How can we become friends with the killers of the Muslims in Palestine? We should severe all diplomatic relationships. And on this 12th point, I would like to congratulate Kuwait. There was the news recently that in Kuwait, in the parliament, one of the members of parliament, he tabled, he said in the parliament, and he wants to pass a law, he wants to see to it that the Kuwait government passes a law that anyone who supports Israel, whether in reality or whether on social media, should be imprisoned for 10 years, along with a fine of 5,000 dinar, which is about more than $15,000. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may this law be passed in Kuwait soon. And I would request all the 57 majority Muslim countries in the world that they should pass such a law. They should pass such a law that anyone who supports Israel on ground, in reality, or on the social media should be present. If not 10 years, at least keep five years. See to it that they're in prison. Make it a law. I know many people are afraid that Israel is supported by superpowers. We fail to realize that we have Allah with us. Allah supports us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with the believers. Unfortunately, unfortunately, as the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad that a time will come where Muslims will be in large numbers like froth, but they'll be powerless. They'll be just like froth. The numbers are large. The 13th point, that all the Muslims in the world, we should unite. All the countries in the world, we should unite. And as Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, Allah says, Hold strongly all together to the rope of Allah that the glorious man and hadith will be not dead. We Muslims should be united. The number one uniting factor for the Muslims is the glorious Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Today, the scenario that we have, another important point for all the Muslims in the world to unite, irrespective whichever thought you belong to, whichever school you belong to, whichever country you belong to, is the Palestinian cause. Because Masjid Aqsa is important to each and every Muslim in the world, irrespective of whether you're living in Saudi Arabia or Malaysia or India or Pakistan or Turkey, anywhere. Masjid Aqsa is very important to every Muslim. If this cause of the Palestinian issue where they are being mercilessly killed in the last, in this 11 days war. Innocent Palestinians were killed. Civilians were targeted. Civilian buildings were targeted by jet planes, by bombs. And more than 250 Palestinians were killed, of which 66 were children. And what is the world doing? Yes. There has been, there has been a cry, there has been an objection, but I feel it should be much more. The Muslims united. I'm happy to know that in the news two days before, that in the Southeast Asia, 
Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei, the heads of states of all these three countries, they signed a memorandum and they gave to the UNA against Israel. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy to know that in Malaysia, the tall, the tall skyscrapers like the KL Tower, like the Kuan Tower, like the Alostar Tower, like the Terengganu Bridge in Putrajaya, many bridges, what they have done, they have lit up with the colors of the Palestinian flag. Green, red, white, and black in solidarity, in solidarity to the peoples of Palestine. Such things should increase. I am really thankful to the government of Malaysia that what they have done on tall skyscrapers building and government buildings, they have put the Palestinian colors. And Alhamdulillah, you find that many countries are supporting like Turkey, Pakistan, Alhamdulillah, but will only be effective if we unite together. If all the Muslim countries, if they unite and we unitedly stand for our innocent brothers and sisters in Palestine and we pray for them, inshallah, we will be more effective. Irrespective, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us. He does not require you and me the rubbish that we are. He alone is sufficient. And Allah promises in the Quran that he will surely teach the zalim a lesson. Allah also says in the Quran that he gives them rope to go to and fro. He's just giving them time. Allah doesn't require you and me, but why don't we make hay while the sun is shining? Why don't we support, like our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, that all the Muslims are like one body. If something happens to one part, all of it, the whole body is in fever. So I request our Muslim brothers and sisters throughout the world that implement on the few suggestions that I've given and see to it that we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he keep our Palestinian Muslims and brothers safe. May he give them sabr. May he give them victory. May he give the highest level of the Firdos to the martyrs of Palestine. And we'd like to thank from the bottom of the heart each and every Muslim. I thank on behalf of the Muslim Ummah to the Palestinian for doing a further kefaya for protecting the third holiest site of the Muslims. We thank you and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he may he reward all the Palestinians, inshallah, with Janet Firdos. Dr. Zakir Naik, may Allah bless you, your family, protect you wherever you are, and make you strong and aid you and support you. SubhanAllah, beautiful words by Dr. Zakir Naik. We'd like to thank you.